second Hydra ready to make our life uh, not miserable. way. Fresh my lagging. Hopefully, it's just the feed. The actual game. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to do anything much with him. Just yet. We did bring another dragon skin. Just a bit. Maybe on the other side of this uh, sand dune from him. I seem to remember. <laughs> remember trying this a very long time ago. Getting to the other side of this sand dune and then watching him soar, free willy style, over my head. And uh, that.
Looks like a pretty instant uh, slip up onto the other side of this dune. Stand down there or not? Okay. Wow, another dragon scale. That is really going to come in handy. I don't know how I'm ever going to get enough souls to actually afford the upgrades, is the problem. But that will really come in handy. something, at least. Even if I can't get my, uh, my 4,000 and such souls back, I can at least take that dragon scale to the bank. I'll be like, we don't accept this. This isn't currency. And I'll just pout and cry. So I don't even know... What, uh, what is waiting for me at the end of the beach there? I assume there is something. I completely forget uh, the purpose of being down here, or if it's really just to throw another Hydra at you. That may be the case. Could be that this is an optional area I've, uh, found my way into. I kinda need to make a path, despite the abundance of dragon scales. what's at the end of it. Just make it past all the crab, gentlemen. While I'm down here, it will be boring. Nice. <laughs> okay. Well, there go my, uh, my 4,000 souls. And also the, uh, humanity we were talking about last... last time, I'm sure is gone. I'm at all zeros up there. But, on the bright side, there is now nothing to lose. I never did repair either. Oh well. So we'll need to get souls back, somehow. Grind up some new ones. While we have nothing to lose, let us, uh... boldly go here.
guys. Need to get rid of one of the heads and then that will create a safe spot for me to stand. That's what I'm hoping for. many tries as we want. No worries. I sure would like to get past this route with any sort of uh, celerity. There, maybe that's the secret. Sacrifice the youth of my back for speedy progress. anything in this pile, but I'm sure we'll take it. Yeah, take that, you big meanie. Try it again, and I'm too late, and then I try it again, and I'm too early. Just flip flopping back and forth. As you do. I'm never gonna slash off when I'm old man recovering from the ground here. In the credits, you'll see me listed as old man recovering from the ground. Physically defensive is what I'm learning. At least not against something. Else. That one every time. Uh, unfortunate for me. So I can't tell if I even got one head or if I just got a couple of slashes in on a few of them. Again, it would just be such a treat to be able to go take advantage of these dragon scales and then come back and do this, but trying to weigh the idea of wasting your time uh, running back through Blight Town and all of that versus wasting your time just throwing my body against this Hydra. But really, it's a half dozen of one. Sure, we could take out that Hydra the same way we took out the last one. With uh, some sort of strategy. satisfy my uh, end of the beach curiosity here, though, before we take another swing at it. About to blow. He dived so that he could get some, some speed. Ouch. Okay. So I'll take it. side to that beach now. Do I jump down 
down there? I'm gonna jump down there. Yeah, sure. It was literally sniffing. Okay. So now we know at the end of the beach there's a guy who's gonna beat me to death with his fists. It's good to know. Wish, uh, wish I was still on that side of things. safe word, which is no, stop punching me. It's pretty simple. I'm sure this, uh, haunting choir isn't getting old or anything. Even with my sound turned down, I can still hear that. Sometimes a one-hit kill. Back on the other end of the beach. This is like the worst ground hole. It's like if they made Groundhog Day with Pauly Shore instead. It's just the worst. Sorry, if you're listening. Polly Shore. Don't mean anything by it. I don't think that's enough of an excuse, really. I'm sorry, Polly. I, I genuinely am. I shouldn't have brought you into this. If you'd like, I'll, I'll write you an apology. I'm sure you would have done fine. No. Let's move on. One under again. Make it across this time. Maybe a little Just to save a little time on the uh, crossing. So 
not sure if I have to go in there or maybe skirt around this egg. Dangerous. If that's a thing, I'm I don't know if it's nothing, and if this is just going to kill me, or if this is a thing. Have to sense. Same room, the mushroom guy, but I really have no idea. Be up there, try to race past and check it. There's the mushroom. Oh, too high. Are you kidding me? Oh man, it's just so much health. Here. Excuse me, sir. Alright, so this would have been the other way had I not jumped off. I think. That's fine. Get out of here. Long, windy sandbar to the next. Not looking forward to it. Let's just come out this way. I get pummeled by a mushroom man at this point. Still have some stumpy cover here. Giving him an opportunity to jump on me. That, that would be a mistake. What are you doing over there? Get back to your spot. Get back to your area. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna go back to his area. And the lesson of, of Ash Lake here. Oh goodness! If there is a lesson to be learned, it's probably watch your friggin' back. But uh, second to that, the lesson would be deal with the Hydra at that end of the lake. Don't let him come to this end of the lake. That would be a mistake. This mushroom guy against the sorceries. Pretty, pretty defensive. So the other option, the only other option I'm seeing, is if I run, get the Hydra on this side of the lake, and then keep running across that sandbar. Do not stop for any reason, and for no mushroom men. It may be my only hope. Barring that, I think I'm ready to go back up to uh, Blight Town and try to grind out some upgrades for my Drake Sword here. Is my plan. Because I imagine I could return to the Hydra, and to Quelag, and even to Mushroom Daddy. A plus two or plus three Drake Sword. To some pretty devastating effect. I'm 
not even sure if I should continue to be using this weapon. So many questions. We'll figure it out. Sense running through Lordran, knowing what you're doing. Say, more than half of the game is, is just not knowing what you're doing. That's the fun part of it. speed to just keep going here. Oh, he is so close to me already. Okay. This is such a beautiful area. I need to uh, remind myself of the lore of this place, why it exists, and what it is. It's absolutely mesmerizing. Just running, without looking back. Sodom and Gomorrah style here. The hopes oh, I've looked back. Didn't know if that was going to save me or kill me. A little bit of both. another 20 feet or so, I probably would have been safe. So I am sorry for all of this, uh, trying. The trying and the trying. Thank you for bearing with me. I really should have spent some of those, uh, basilisk souls to repair my equipment, but I'm not sure how I would have gotten back here. Much stuck everywhere I go. That's what I get for dashing ahead down the mushroom shoot. I know at some point it became like a normal feature that you could do this all the time in later games, maybe beginning in Dark Souls 2 even. Um, but I know that there's at least an item or something in this one that you get later, much later in the game, that allows you to actually teleport between your bonfires, any bonfire you've already discovered you can return to. I just don't remember where that item is or when I'm going to get it. I hope it's soon, but I doubt it is soon. I'd love to be able to, for example, be at that bonfire down there and fast travel to the blacksmith bonfire, upgrade my drake sword, and then fast travel back down there to take out the hydra. That should be possible at some point. Nice. Uh, beaten even by the babies, especially the, the big number of babies. Goodness. Alright, sorry I'm in your home. I know, it's my bad. those frogs again. Should be jumping down onto my back any time now, really. You are very good at following me. I, I have to give you the props. And also the please get away from me now. In addition to the props. Remember, there was a ladder. There we go. Ladder here somewhere. The ladder mid mid level. About halfway up. Shoot. the ladder around the outside, that must be it. A lot of holes to fall through that I should watch out for. Let's see if 
I can get back up to this top bonfire at least, and we'll see where we can go from there. I raced down here so quickly last episode. I didn't really pay attention. My mad dash for survival, as as always. I think, if I'm remembering correctly, there are no other bosses after uh, Quilag that involve the bell. I think you can just get to the bell. Backstepping. If I can remember how to do that. Ooh. I can't seem to remember how to do that. To a uh, an extent that it would be helpful, at least. <laughs> so, I have no idea. I really don't want to fall down there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't seem to get over that lip. Come on. You'd think that should do it. I think that little hop should be more than enough. Huh. I don't get it at all. there without dying. I'm surprised I'm still alive even now. That, that just has to be be good. Tension is there. And as far as I know, that's the only way out. Lacking, as we've established, the uh, fast travel item. There's another way out at the far end of the beach, though. Or maybe this is this is the end of the series. <laughs> Let me try that one more time. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do when I get back up to the, uh, the same obstacle. This is not necessarily a cakewalk to get back up. In the history of cakewalks, this ranks quite low. Maybe there's another... If I jump down onto another route, maybe there's a hidden ladder somewhere. Or something that will help me. This is the part that's, uh, the least cakey of the walk. This whole section is just not fun. Mmm, there's those holes. Alright, almost back up and we'll try, um... Uh, We'll try jumping across that little tiny ledge.
Oh, that is a long ladder. I was thinking I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't need to make a comment until we got to the top of it, but then the silence, it just dragged. It just dragged and dragged. Okay, so... Yes, thank you. Get out of here. There must be some easy, uh... Easy thing I'm missing here. Love it if backstepping worked. I really would. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna I'm gonna move on. Now this would be the absolute worst time to fall or do something stupid. So please don't. I'm I'm begging with myself. Should I go up there, or should I go around this way? Mm -hmm. Let's go up here for now. We can always come back around. Alright, is this the base of the bonfire tree, or is it still ways? I can't tell. There must still be a ways. One more tree's worth, at least. There are a lot of items throughout this, uh, this trunk that I need to come back and get, maybe once I'm synced to the top bonfire or something. Important. Never can be sure. But here we go. Finally out of the ash lake there. Which really just undid all of the progress from yesterday, is all. Let's see if we can get anywhere helpful. As far as I remember, the easiest way out of Blight Town at this point is the way we went in up the elevator again. But boy, do I not want to do that. But I'm really thinking if I could just somehow make it back to uh, Andre, I'd be able to upgrade this dragon sword, potentially with the help of a few uh, of our human friends beyond the crest of Artorias. If we could just get this up to plus two or plus three, I think we might be able to make some better progress. That is my current plan, having failed so badly at uh, both of the upcoming boss battles. And we still haven't gone back to the Gaping Dragon, that's something I could consider. Let's just see if we can get back out to some familiar territory here before the end of the episode. And if not, oh well. I'm finally going to blow the air something. the 
mosquitoes. Or whatever those claim to be. at this point if we die either way beyond our time. Which I've already wasted so much of in my, my failed attempts at progress. But I hope it's given a good uh, good overview of what's to come at least. The obstacles we have yet to beat. I could just ram down here. be the... is that like the ghost place we kind of came through, so this must be the way out if you came the normal way um, and beat the gaping dragon. This key would allow you to now escape from the store of added toys. I think is the idea. shame we lost that humanity. I probably, in a in a better timeline, would have used that to summon someone to help with the uh, Quilag. And uh, we would be in a different position now. That's not the way things went. It's not how this story goes. So back into New Londo. This would have been uh, would have been opened for us by that key we just found. If we weren't already thief class and had the master key. And this should allow us to go right back up to Firelink Shrine. And then from Firelink, I guess the quickest way back to Andre must be the cathedral elevator? Question mark? Let's try it. Then we'll see how many uh, souls we actually need to upgrade this again, and then from Andre we will head down back into Darkroot Garden and try to get those souls. You good at Firelink? You good? Ah, you certainly are keeping busy. Care to pay for a useful tip? No, I'm still really? well. I'm still suit yourself. Quick. You could just give me the tip for free, regardless. Uh, we could try that. So, oh, hello there. This guy sells the pyromancy suit. Boys. It's worth a check. If you provide the materials, I can teach you pyromancy. Flame resistance for our spider friend down there. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Goodbye. Then. Give me one safe, moment. Friend. I'll be right back. Don't you dare go alone.
All right, so sorry. Can't get a moment's peace. So this all looks about the same. No pyromancy set to be procured. Let's head back up the elevator. Hello, friend. I got a new haircut and he didn't even say anything. I think we're enemies now. Let's catch him by his hair, maybe he's just jealous. Moving on. It's nice of them to have such such automated uh, safety railings there. That's quite a modern feature of this old cathedral. a group of guys. No need to get them all worked up. Okay. Back to a, uh, civilized bonfire. Let's call it. So how much am I going to have to pay you, good friend? Good friend Andre? Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. What's your estimation? Forged? Okay. Ten thousand again. And I have four dragon scales. I'm assuming it will start... Requiring more dragon scales, maybe after this level, even. We'll have to see. So the idea will be to work up 10,000 souls. The, uh, the sad thing about that is that I'm sure the Hydra would have given me 10,000 souls. But uh, we all saw how that went. So we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. See if I can get back through demonic It's like a distant, uh, distant memory now. Luckily, I'm really still at the exact same uh, level of competence in terms of damage I'm doing. So it's as though nothing has even happened, despite the distance of this memory. Fill our mosses, especially purple. Calm down, Bulbasaur. Jeez. Definitely one of my favorites. It's just a nice little uh, area. And we will continue on through the gate, try to get some of these guys after us. strategy. Okay. I'll have to get one of those.
those uh, six thousands in the bank. That'd be great. There's the invisible sneak thief. Let's try to get any of them to follow us off the edge here. fun for the whole family 2,000 each okay so I just need another uh, one or two of those and I should be golden I'm tempted to also take advantage of this uh, this little water slide activity in order to give myself a few more levels of strength but that seems so cheap. We'll have to decide if I'm that cheap when it comes right down to it. I probably am. A couple seconds for view. I don't think I'd mind. Ah, oh, no, I've done it. <laughs> That's what I was so hoping he would do first, but I tried to instruct him and took it too far. So hopefully I can grab that pile back, those guys will respawn, and I will just uh, give them the merry chase one last time. Give them the business, and then back to Andre. There we go. I'm here to give you the business, and then back to Andre. Not sure if you heard. Got in pace. Or whatever the saying is. Oh, yikes. He, uh, he really walked right up and said hello before attacking. That was kind of him. Showed a lot of good sportsmanship. Which I appreciate. Going to return the favor of his good sportsmanship by cheesing him right off the edge. Oh my. Come on. There you go. Cheese you right off. Okay, let's try this. And see if it does, in fact, uh, bump it up to two dragon scales for the next one. Actually, uh, I'm not sure if it'd be worth it just to go ahead and grind out another 10,000 in case it continues to cost 10,000, or if it will actually cost, like, 20,000 next time? I really have no idea. And that wouldn't be quite as worth it to grind out. But let me see if I can hold on to this pile and get up to 20,000, just in case it will shortcut things for us. Who knows? Let's go back to the stairs. Let's not even, uh, not even try to mess with those swings. Beefy boy swings here. Coming after me. Come all the way to the edge, beefy boy swings. Trying to kill me with a battle axe? What's wrong with you? Some sort of axe murderer? of this. Hopefully we will be back on the right path shortly. Let's 
guy just doesn't seem to want to follow me anywhere. I always end up having to get him the old fashioned way. At least get the tree. I'm all very impressed with your sorceries, Brad. I'll just, just give it a rest. Bradwick, please. Almost there. Go ahead and just try to get all these guys after me. There's the invisible thief. There's the invisible thief. Everyone back to the edge. We're gonna have a big, big party. It's gonna be great. Where is the invisible thief? There he is. Alright, come on. Yeah, everyone come. Everyone come to the party. Everyone's invited. Everyone's invited to play. The party today. try that. And then if it turns out to be uh, 20,000 after the first 10, oh well. I apologize now. Also be a real shame to die and lose 20,000 to a demonic bush on the way back, so let's not do that. Slash the cliff edge. Thank you for your purple moss. And thank you for your purple moss. some Dr. Shoals pretty soon. Well, hello again. You Not a sponsor. Do it all right. You're curious. Need anything forged? All right. Drake sword plus two. Yes, please. Drake sword plus three. Two dragon scales, but only ten thousand souls. So glad. Okay. So the next one will take two Dragon Scales. I need one more, which I might actually get from beating a Hydra. And then I only need another 10,000 to take it up to uh, plus four. Looks like it's going by about 20 damage. You know, up 20 damage per level, so that will significantly help in the number of hits I need to dole out. I am glad. Okay. While we're back up in this area, we could uh, head back down to Quilog now, and uh, the Hydra, etc. I'm trying to remember if there's any quick way to swing back by the depths to check the gaping dragon at this point. See if I might be able to actually clear him out and get the proper path formed, but I, I really don't know if there's any purpose in doing that. I can already skirt past him the way I've been going. If that's some thought. But we have upgraded the uh, the Drake Sword. I absolutely cannot leave without uh, testing it on some. Those guys were already dying in one hit up there, so let me go back down to these demonic foliages one last time. That we're at least taking two hits to kill. And let's see how we're stacking up. 
cannot upgrade a sword and then leave. That's folly and madness. Oh, I guess I didn't really rest anywhere. Okay, so where's the nearest guy gonna be if I didn't rest? Maybe down next to the bonfire here. We have our classic uh, group that attacks at once. We could try. Or a battle against the sorcerer would be a pretty good test, too. But let's check here first. Just see if this goes any smoother or in any less hits. Almost all the way down in one. That's great. Level 4 Drake Sword would one hit kill these guys. That is no easy feat, so I am happy. Let's give a test against the sorcerer real quick, just for fun times. Real human opponent. significantly cut down the hits. Like, we might be able to go back down to the, uh, undead asylum and take on that stray demon again. It was just a matter of not doing enough damage. So hopefully this will be the key to unlocking, uh, the path of progress for us again. Well played, sir. And again. Damn. Alright. Yeah, that is so much easier. Okay, so I will go back and rest at this bonfire for now. We will uh, decide from here whether we want to run back up to uh, the Asylum or the Gaping Dragon or Quilog. We have so many options open to us now. Thank you for your kind attention and your time, and I hope your day is going well. I will see you uh, next time. Thank you for joining me.